Hello everyone, welcome to our channel and welcome to yet another video which is specially for people who are worried about the new notice released by UGC NET on 27th March 2024. The notice was about NTA declaring UGC NET as the entrance test for admission to PhD. Well, get ready for some exciting news about the UGC NET exams. The University Grants Commission, UGC, has just made a big announcement and it's got everyone talking. Imagine this, you're working hard, getting ready for the UGC NET June exam. And then boom, UGC drops some major news that changes everything. This announcement has made the UGC NET exam more important than ever before. It's like a golden opportunity for you to boost your academic journey. But why is everyone so excited? Well, stick around and we'll tell you all about it. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss an update about the UGC NET exam. Friends, in this particular video, we would be focusing on explaining you in detail about the new notice issued by UGC about the UGC NET exam. For the ease of understanding, we have broken down the notice into five crucial points. Let's look at each of them one by one. First, NET as the entrance test for PhD. The first important point mentioned in the notice is the fact that UGC NET exam score will now be useful in getting admissions to PhD programs. Previously, all universities used to conduct their own entrance exams for PhD programs. For instance, if a student decides to apply in four universities for PhD, namely Jawaharlal Nehru University, Banaras Hindu University, Delhi University and University of Hyderabad, he or she had to clear four different exams as conducted by these universities respectively in order to be eligible for their interview process. Now, with this new change, the UGC NET score will be used as a common entrance point for admission into any university for PhD program. Earlier, a student had to go through a two-step process for admission in PhD program. Firstly, he would give the entrance exam of individual university and then after selection would sit for interview. Now, with this new rule, a student who has cleared NET will skip the step 1, which means he doesn't have to give entrance exam. Instead, a student applying for PhD will now have to fill the application form of the concerned university, provide proof of UGC NET score and he will be directly eligible for interview process. Second, conducted biannually, June and December cycle. So the second important point mentioned in the notice is the biannual conduction of UGC NET exam. UGC NET exam was conducted twice a year till date. But since past few years, there's been confusion about whether the UGC NET exam would happen once or twice a year. Well, UGC, that's the University Grants Commission, has cleared the air on that one. The big news is that the UGC NET exam will still happen twice a year, just like before. Yep, you need not worry about that. They are keeping it biannual, which means it will be held twice in a year. There are two cycles for the exam, one in June and the other in December. So mark your calendars for those dates. Now, before we dive into the next point, let's take a moment, my friends. If you found this information helpful, why not show some love? Give this video a big thumbs up and share it with your fellow aspirants. Sharing is caring after all. Then we have the three categories. Let us now talk about the third major point, which is regarding the three categories that UGC has created. Until now, if you pass the UGC net, you were either in the group that just cleared net or the lucky ones who have aced both net and JRF. But hold on to your hats because things have changed. Now there are not just two, but three categories for students who pass the UGC net. Let's break them down. First up, we have category 1. This is where you'll find the real champions, those who not only clear NET but also nail the GRF, that is Junior Research Fellowship. What's cool about this category? Well, these students get a scholarship or stipend for their PhD studies and can also directly apply for the post of Assistant Professor. It's like hitting two birds with one stone. And guess what? The scholarship amount is around 40,000 bucks per month. Now, moving on to Category 2, this category is for those who ace the UGC NET exam with flying colours, meaning they score higher percentages. These high achievers can apply for the post of Assistant Professor and can also apply for admission to PhD programmes. But unlike Category 1, they will not get the scholarship or stipend amount during PhD. Lastly, we have Category 3. This category is for those who clear the UGC net but with a lower percentage. They are still eligible for PhD admissions, but unfortunately, they won't qualify for the GRF or assistant professor positions. This means they can neither apply for a job 
nor will get stipend worth rupees 40000 from the government with these three new categories it's not just about passing the net anymore it's about aiming high and scoring well because higher marks can pave the way to lucrative assistant professor roles so study hard aim high and who knows you might just find yourself in category 1 Look at the table on the screen to understand better. If you notice the column eligible for is divided into three categories: GRF, assistant professor and PhD admissions. Look closely and you will see the category 1 is eligible for all three, whereas the case is different for category 2 and 3. Let us understand this with an example. Assuming there are three students, student A, B and C. Hypothetically speaking, if the cutoff to clear UGC net exam will be 192 marks out of 300, then the scores will decide the categories for these students. For instance, student A scored 250 out of 300 in the UGC net, securing a GRF along with qualifying marks. They fall into category 1, eligible for a PhD scholarship and assistant professor positions. Student B scored 200 out of 300, excelling in the net but not qualifying for a GRF. They will belong to category 2. eligible for assistant professor roles and phd admissions student c scored 192 out of 300 meeting the minimum requirement to clear the net but falling short for a grf or higher positions they fit into category 3 eligible for phd admissions but not for a grf or assistant professor roles now that you know that the marks you score in ugc net holds immense value it's time to brace yourself up and start preparing for upcoming ugc net june exam Are you ready to prepare for the June exam now? We are here to make your preparation super simple. We have recently launched crash courses for UGC NET Paper 1 as well as for UGC NET Paper 2 English, wherein we cover all important topics that you must study to ace upcoming NET exam. We also offer test series for both UGC NET Paper 1 and Paper 2 English that consists of more than 3000 unit wise questions that comes with detailed explanations. Plus after every test you get a detailed performance report and your ranking in All India Leaderboard which will help you spot your weak and strong areas. For those who wish to join our online course or test series pick your phone and dial the number displayed on screen. Alternatively if you are too lazy to give us a call you can also send a WhatsApp message inquiring about the details of the course and our team is going to be there at your service in no time. Results in percentile and marks Let us now look at the fourth point which talks about the result declaration. According to the recent notice from UGC, the results will be presented in percentiles along with individual marks. Now, what does that mean for you? Well, it's pretty cool because you not only get to see your percentile which tells you where you stand compared to others, but you also get your marks. So this makes things super clear. For instance, let's say you got a percentile of 90, that means you did better than 90% of the test takers. But if you also see that you got uh, let's say 250 out of 300 marks, then it's easier for you to understand exactly how well you did and where you might need to improve. It's like getting two pieces of the puzzle to figure out your performance. Previously, UGC used to only give percentiles, which left students wondering how many marks they actually got. So this new system is a step in the right direction for clarity and understanding. validity the fifth important point that the notice talks about is with regards to validity wondering what will be the validity of the results for the ugc net exam well let me break it down for you if you are planning to pursue a phd program listen up your net score will be valid for one year when it comes to phd admissions that means now right after clearing net you must rush to apply to apply in colleges for phd but hold on there's more to it while your net score is valid for one year for phd admissions the net certificate itself holds lifelong validity that's right once you have got that net certificate in your hands you are eligible to be assistant professor with a lifetime validity brace yourself because the competition for the upcoming ugc net june exam might just get a tad tougher why you ask well because some smart students who have already cleared the net a few years back might decide to give it again this year as they wish to sit for phd that means more competitors aiming for those coveted spots but hey no need to stress out we have got your back covered We offer online course and test series for UGC NET Paper 1 as well as for UGC NET Paper 2 English Literature. These courses consist of animated video lectures, high quality PDF notes and mock test series covering the detailed syllabus and are specially designed to boost your chances of acing the upcoming UGC NET exam with flying colors. Seriously, our courses are like turbo boost for your preparation. 
All you need to do is pick up that phone and dial the number flashing on your screen and our team will be more than happy to provide you course details. Yep, it's that easy. So why wait? Let's kick start your journey to success together. The notice also informs us that NTA will soon release the notification and bulletin of information for the UGC NET June 2024 exam. So that's the big news. Things are changing for the UGC NET exam. Don't wait. Take this chance, make your dreams come true and do great in the upcoming exam. If you have any other questions or doubts about UGC NET paper 1 or paper 2 MA entrance, PhD entrance, PGT, TGT, GATE or UPSC or any other competitive exam related to English literature then feel free to reach out to us on WhatsApp. The WhatsApp number is flashed right on the screen. You can shoot a WhatsApp message on the same number to regularly get important updates related to latest exam notification, syllabus change and much more. And if you are searching for free study material on various topics related to UGC NET paper 1 and paper 2 English literature then feel free to ping us on WhatsApp and my team will be more than happy to assist you. So before we end the video just like you do a quick revision before the exam let us have a quick recap of the notice and the important points covered under it. Today we have learned some key points from the recent notice by UGC about the UGC NET exam. First off, the UGC NET exam score now opens door for PhD admissions, making it easier for you to apply to multiple universities without having to take multiple entrance exams. Plus, the exam happens twice a year in June and December, so you have got two shots at acing it. Next up, we talked about the three categories for students who pass the UGC NET. Category 1 students not only clear NET but also nail the GRF, entering them a sweet scholarship and assistant professor positions. Category 2 high achievers can pursue assistant professor roles and PhD admissions while category 3 qualifiers are still eligible for PhD but miss out on the GRF and are not eligible to apply for the post of assistant professor. Now let's talk about results. UGC had made things clearer by providing both percentiles and marks giving you a better understanding of your performance. And finally, the validity of your net score lasts for one year for PhD admissions, while the net certificate itself holds lifelong validity, making you eligible for assistant professor roles. So, study hard, aim high, and go chase those dreams. Thank you for watching. Till the time we meet next, happy learning, keep loving literature, and stay tuned to our pitakarva.com.